Hello, this is Patrick with Lone Wolf Software, and today's tutorial is going to be about how to uh, use the parts list in Automotive Wolf, our car maintenance software product for Windows. So the parts list is a, a great way to keep track of all your parts for any of your vehicles, and there's a couple ways to add parts for a vehicle. So one way to do it is just to, uh, right now we have on the screen, we have the Mazda RX-7. It's a sample vehicle that comes with the uh, software. We have that loaded, and one way to add a part very quickly is just to click on one of these tabs here you just find the parts list tab which is over here today and you'll see the list of parts currently in the parts list um, for this vehicle and also um, the the uh, Castrol GTX here with the little globe which that means it's a, a global part so it's available to all the vehicles all the other parts here that are listed are the parts for the specific vehicle the RX-7 so one way to add a part is to simply click on the parts list, click on the add button, and then you can add the part. And you, of course you fill out all the appropriate fields, you have a few buttons here to find a part if you want, and you can add a part that way for the vehicle. And then you can make it vehicle specific, which means it'll only be available for the vehicle that you currently have loaded while you're adding the part. Or you can make it a global part, you might want to make a windshield wipers or oil that you use in several vehicles global, so that it'll be available to all your vehicles. And when I say available, I'm really talking about when you're adding a maintenance or repair record and you click on the parts button and you want to add some parts, those parts that are available for that vehicle, is, if they're vehicle specific, will be displayed and you can just choose on a little drop down menu how to do that. And I'll show you how to do that now. So on the Mazda RX-7, let's say we're going to add a maintenance record. So click on the maintenance tab. And let's say that we want to add a, a, an oil change. So we'll click on the add button. And in the description here, we'll just choose um, oil, change oil and filter. And we don't need to make any comments today. But so we're going to go, let's add some parts for this oil change. Now, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can click on the parts button here, or you have some tabs here where you can add a, you can link uh, additional maintenance. You have some invoices. You can uh, scan in, uh, invoices or work orders and attach them to this record. And here right now, we have the parts tab selected so just click on this little plus add button and you'll see a little uh, add add part for the for this particular maintenance record now if you click on the drop down arrow you'll see all the parts that are available right now that have been added previously for this Mazda RX-7 and you can just choose from any of these parts so let's say we're going to go ahead and choose the uh, can and oil filter so you choose that and you'll see the other uh, data fields here are already filled out because they were already filled out previously in your parts list. So you have the part number, the price of each of them, and the quantity. You can make a comment here if you want. So if you go ahead and just click OK, that part's now been added. As you can see here in this drop in this list, you have the Canon oil filter added. And the price of the part's already been added also. So now let's say uh, we want to add some oil for this particular maintenance record. So you, again, you click on the plus add. And I believe the oil was a a uh, a global was globally available. And here it is, the Castrol GTX. So you just click that, and quantity. Let's say there's it's going to take five, and you see everything else is filled out. Click OK, and now you see the parts has also been uh, it's been summed in the parts. So everything's already done for you, and, and again it shows up in the list of parts for this particular maintenance record. Now the other thing I wanted to show you is you can actually add a part to the parts list from this window. So let's click again on add a part. And in this case, let's say we're going to add some windshield wipers. Now windshield wipers isn't currently in your parts list. So you just click in this description box. And we'll type in windshield wiper RX-7. And quantity one. Now we don't know the part number at this time, so we'll just leave it blank. And we'll say the price is uh, twenty dollars. Let's say we bought it at the local parts store, and you can see uh, we have a windshield wiper here for the RX-7. Click OK, and now you'll see a small little window that asks you if you want to add this. See, it says windshield wiper RX-7 does not exist in your parts list. Would you like to add it? In this case, we'll say yes. So we didn't have any windshield wipers in our parts list when I showed you the parts list previously. So we'll go ahead and click yes. The windshield wiper has been added. And this record's ready to be added, and that will satisfy the oil change. So let's go ahead and do that. Click OK. And of course, the oil change has been, um, has been updated to your maintenance list. So here it is at the bottom. 
and um, now we have a part that was added through just by adding it through the maintenance uh, through a maintenance record. Now you can also do this in the repair record in the same way if you're adding a repair for your vehicle. So now let's go back to the parts list. Um, we'll click on the parts list tab and you can see the windshield wiper now shows up in the parts list and it's for the RX-7. It's not a global part because we're going to make it a global part. So whenever you list your RX-7 or whenever you're adding something to your RX-7 in the future, this windshield wiper will now be available for you to just choose from so you don't have to add it again. Now the other thing I wanted to show you was um, a really nice little option here in the parts list is you can you can set links to your parts so that let's say if you purchase them on the internet from let's say um, Amazon or wherever it doesn't really matter you can put a link in the supplier data field for the part and the the but then the button I'll show you here in a minute the go button will become enabled enabled and you can actually go to that part very quickly and purchase it again so let's do that for um, the can and oil filter so we'll just double click on the can and older oil filter to edit it edit it let me get rid of this particular link now here. So what you see is a K&N oil filter. We have some information for it. Manufacturer, of course, is k &N. It's not filled out. You have the warranty, some other comments. So in this case, I've already done a search on the Internet for this K&N oil filter for the Mazda RX-7. And we'll put this on the screen now for you. And here it is. It was found at Autoplicity. And all you really have to do to add this link is in the upper part of the of your browser, you'll see the what's called the URL address. It's a universal resource locator. It's just the address for this particular web page. Now, if you click on that so that it's highlighted as it is now, and then right click and click copy so that you've copied this entire URL address to this particular part. Now, if we go back to Automotive Wolf, you can simply click in the supplier box, right click, and click paste and now you've got that entire URL in this box and this is a link you know a link to your the web page where you bought this part so you can easily go back to this web page in the future if you want to repurchase there now when you do this um, you're also going to have this go button is going to take you immediately open up your browser and take you immediately to that part so it's very easy to purchase again and I'll show you that now if you just click on the go button you'll see it opens up a browser window and there's the part and you can go ahead and you know purchase it again um, it just makes it really easy to find the part you don't have to go searching on the internet again you know where you bought it before and so it's e it's very easy to do now in this supplier box let me click here if you click on blue um, any blue text in automotive wolf it'll give you some information about it so if you just click on here it tells you that you have two two options in the supplier data field you can just add a supplier just type in the supplier and that's fine of course the go button next to it won't work at that point because it's not a link or you can add the link so it's your choice you can put the entire link as I showed you just a few a second ago um, by copying it from the uh, browser URL uh, address just copy it and paste it in there and then you have a way for you to easily go back to this link by just by clicking on the go button so if we click OK now it's been saved so we, if we go back to the K&N oil filter you see that link is still there and all you have to do is click on it boom and it should be loading here there we go there's the part again loaded up for you so it's a very easy way to save links to your parts and just makes it uh, really uh, really quick and easy to add a part and keep track of your parts part numbers and you could add comments here as far as warranty information or other uh, any other miscellaneous comments that you want to you want to add and this is a great way to keep parts for all your vehicles and you can make them vehicle specific or global parts that are available to all the other vehicles and you can separate them that way it makes it very easy and uh, very quick to find what you need to find so that's all for today's uh, parts tutorial um, look for more uh, videos in the future we have a lot of tutorials online thanks for listening and goodbye